Hi, JJ here from the new JJ22. Um, let's go back to 19, let's say the early 80s. Cable was all analog at that time. It was not digital. So you did not have HBO 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You did not have Showtime 1, 2, 3, Women's Showtime, Black Showtime. You just had HBO, Showtime, Cinemax. I think that was about it. Maybe later the Movie Channel as well at that time. But there weren't, uh, Stars came later, um, other ones. So what, I'm gonna, what I picked out were soundtracks that I got into because just about every time I turned on my TV, these movies were on the TV, and I just got into the music because they were on the cable so much. And so I picked a list of these records right here. First one I picked is Fletch. This is done by Harold Faltemeyer. Harold Faltemeyer, the same one that did... Um, Beverly Hills Cop and Top Gun. This has a song in here by uh, St Stephanie Mills called Bit by Bit, and well as Fletch's theme, and also has music on here by The Fix, Dan Hartman, and Kim Wilde. So there you go. There's Fletch. Next one I picked, which was on all the time, was Revenge of the Nerds. Yes, this was on all the time. Um, Lambda, 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 and Omega Moo. As soon as they were able to air radar movies, this was on all the time. It seemed like every time, all the time, constantly. All, um, and that's probably how I got to know all the songs on this particular uh, release, um, such as um, Are You Looking For This? Uh, Are You Ready For The Sex Girls? And I still clean the house to this day, too. You got to put one foot in front of the other. So um, I think I talked about that, too, in Beth's uh, soundtrack tag as well. But um, that one right there. Next one that actually got its run on cable, more so than even video, was Just One of the Guys. And uh, this is kind of like a Tootsie in reverse, so to speak, where it's now a female that dresses up as a guy to try and um, discover what life is like for a guy in high school and ends up, you know, falling in love and everything. Um, and it even stars the bad guy himself from The Karate Kid, uh, William Zabka, is in this one. And this is a promo copy that I have of this one. Next one that was on all the time as well was Beverly Hills Cop. Um, I think I had this one memorized. It was on Showtime, Movie Channel all the time. This one has on here Glenn Fry, Patti LaBelle, Pointer Sisters. Of course, uh, Harold Faltemeimer's Axelette theme was probably one of the biggest instrumentals to go to um, in the top 40 as well. Um, it's, a, it's a fun soundtrack. It really adds to the music, adds to the movie. And um, yes, there you go. Next one is Popeye. Popeye was on all the time. I remember like in 80, 80, 81, 82, going by my parents' house, my dad's house, because he had cable out in uh, Wisconsin where he lived, and Popeye was on there just about all the time. It, there are some, you know, people criticize this movie, but there are some creative parts, like when he gets so mad that he sees Red, um, and some of the music is kind of fun. This was actually done by uh, Harry Nilsson, actually did the soundtrack to this one. And last but not least, but this was on cable all the time, was The Jazz Singer by Neil Diamond. Constantly. I put it on at one point or another in the movie. I didn't need to see the whole film because eventually when I put it on the TV, at some point I was going to catch some part of the film and catch something from anywhere between um, him singing Love on the Rocks all the way up to him singing in America in the end of the film as well. So this is probably one more that I would label to be a... Uh, cable constant uh, movie from the early 80s so those are the ones from my collection if you have any comments please list them below and just want to remind the vinyl community let's bring each other up rather than bring each other down have a great day